Lastly, when you're trying to troubleshoot your script, uh, here's a general, some questions to ask, some process to go through. Uh, the very first one, it, it's silly, but I, I've, I've had this happen to me too. Is, is it running, right? Do you see the green H, which I have one here, um, it's running. Is it in the system tray? If it's not there, you know, um, chances are that's that's part of the problem, right? Maybe, it, maybe you launched it and it executed and ent- exited before you even had a chance to do anything. Um, the very next thing, just because it's Windows, reboot Windows, right? It's a very simple way to, to test it. Um, t- possibly stop all of the scripts and programs. So maybe just after you reboot, don't launch anything else. Just have that one script. Don't have any other program open unless it's required for the program. Uh, try it on a different computer. Sometimes it's just, it's just these are ways to narrow down to see if it, if it works in a different environment or something. It helps you pinpoint what the problems might be. Um, you might want to try running as an admin. You can right click on the script and say run as admin. And that is a um, one way it doesn't necessarily cure it, but it can help point you in the direction of what's going on. And then you can basically build into elevating your script to run as an admin. You can temporarily turn off the UAC and just Google that. You can find some things about the user account control. Um, Generally speaking, unless you're someone expert, I don't recommend turning it off entirely. I turn mine off, but I also understand I'm the only person using my computer, and I know not to run malicious stuff that I download from the internet. Uh, is your script context sensitive? So if you've set it to do a certain thing in one program and not the other, you know, turn that off. Just try to see if it'll work. And if it works, then, you know, then you have a direction of what you should work on. Um, does it work in only certain places of your script? So there's the auto execute section at the very beginning of the script and if you put something down beneath here and it's not getting to it right that could be the problem try moving it up into the a higher point in the script if it does what you think it is maybe you have a problem with the auto exec section uh, when you're actually troubleshooting the first thing i do is do your best to narrow it down to just one thing right this is the thing i'm working on i'm not doing all these other things sometimes it takes a little bit of work to customize your code to do that um, or even take what you're trying to test put it in a separate script and run it there and just pinpoint it. Uh, use message boxes. I mean, there are more advanced tools in which I didn't cover, but um, like Auto Hockey Studio site, I believe Notepad++ has uh, debug features, which are really helpful, but they're, they're advanced. And um, I felt they were beyond the scope of this course, but they can help you peek into sides, especially tracking where you are when you run it and it goes to a go sub. Um, so question everything, question what you're working on, question your assumptions, question does that variable actually have the value in it? I, I think it does. And that's where you using those message boxes to help show you, boy, so often it, it's funny. You think it's something else and it's not really that. It's it's somewhere earlier where you, you were out of scope in the function, something like that. Um, it's something simple. And um, there's this other thing called error level. A lot of the commands in functions have error level uh things you can check and it'll return a zero if there were no errors and a one if there was an error. I, again, I didn't cover that because it's it gets, starts getting advanced, but um, there's a link here. I'm going to put all the links to, to this stuff um, as well. And then I have some more here. When you're, when you go to seek help, right? First, first confirm it's repeatable because if you can't get it to repeat, you can't really explain explain or ask someone else for help with it. Um, I would p- typically start off searching the Auto Hockey Forum, Stack Overflow, Reddit. Uh, those are good ones. Uh, those are the main ones I go to to see if anyone else has reported similar issues. Or, of course, just use the hit F1 and whatever editor you're using and bring up the Auto Hockey help. It has a lot of great, great documentation. When you go to ask for help... Um, again, trim it down to the simplest thing possible. And if you can include, like if you're going to a website or doing whatever, if you can include that, it's not uh, PII or, or too much information or, you know, something private, then great. Include it in there because people need the context and need to be able to test it. Like in the environment, also mention the OS you're doing, the version of Auto Hockey you're currently running, what other programs you're connecting to, what else is running, if there's some major thing running. Um and then I, it, here's the, the order I would go in depending on, um, you, one is your timing. So like Discord is a live chat where people hang out and often they're there. The people are there are very helpful. They're very patient. Um, and, and they can give you some live support, but you got to be ready to work with them. Uh, Stack Overflow and Reddit, um, those are decent ones. I would actually go to the auto hockey forum if you weren't in a burning hurry for an answer because the number of people that hit the forum is really big. And um, 
you can often get a response, I'd say same day easily. Uh, the Stack Overflow and Reddit, Reddit also people tend to hang out there, So, it, but it, and it also has a repository of past people, things that people have solved, so you can search for a, a solution there. But you can pose you know, other questions there as well. Stack Overflow is for the really minutia, like little you know snippets of stuff. That's usually what I, I go there. Um, I also might even in Stack Overflow look at other things, like if I'm doing more advanced stuff, um, I might look at some other languages and see how they solve it and then try to adapt it. Um, but when you do it, you know, what, what's great is, is break it down. If your script is a thousand lines long and you're only having trouble with these 10 lines, extract out the 10 lines, you know, set, make a way, maybe you have to add two or three lines to help make it, it, it run on its own. But, um, Give those to the people because it really helps the person be able to help you. And a lot of the people I see that work in support, they they do a, an amazing amount of stuff. But if you don't give them the right information, it's uh, it's really hard. It's one of my favorite uh, stories is a short question requires a long answer and a long question re requires a short answer. And so if you spend the time writing out a longer question saying, this is what I'm working on. Here's a context. Here's the, the, the version of auto hotkey and the version of windows that I'm doing it in the environment. And this is specifically where I am. This is what I've looked at. And this is the problem. You know, can someone help uh, the chances of someone giving you help and answering that for you are greatly increased as opposed to saying, can someone fix my script? It doesn't work. Right. Also, obviously, for both for SEO and just for human interest, the title you give that question really helps draw in the right person. Um, it it makes sure it's it's meaningful, it's relevant to what your problem is. Um, usually, typically mention the the command or the function that you're working with, and uh, it's 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 really um, it helps people experts in that area. You know realize my ears would perk up if it was a specific area like web scraping that I'm very fluent in. I would go and look at that question as opposed to you have a vague topic and just with like, please help fix my code. I personally would never go look at that because I don't know what it is and you didn't spend the time to help me understand it. So spend a little time up front and it'll help you in the back end. Cheers.